The year in, everyone we discovered in 2018. Adam Rippon not only became the first openly gay male figure skater to win a medal in a Winter Olympics, but he also racked up another win on season 26 of Dancing with the Stars as the first openly gay man to take home the Mirror Ball Trophy. Adam retired from figure skating in November, but before he hung up his skates, his media tour pretty much made him one of America's newest imaginary boyfriends. And it seems like Justin Sylvester wanted him to be his boyfriend in real life. So I'm going to throw this out there. When you come to L.A., I want to take you out on a date. Oh! and wow. grab drinks, your choice, or I can show you my LA, and we can just kick it. Wow, I love it. I love to just Done. kick it. <laughs> Australian comic Hannah Gadsby became an international sensation this year after Netflix released her comedy special, Nanette, back in June. Her standout moment of the year was when she took the Emmy stage to deliver a hilarious 90-second skit about not all men, but a lot of them. And it was hands down the funniest part of the night. From continuous laughter to pushing her art, we are excited to see what's next for Hannah. The British reality series Love Island made its way to America this year thanks to all four seasons being available on Hulu. The premise of the show involves a group of single islanders, and in order to survive in the villa, they must be coupled up, whether it be for love, friendship, or money. The overall winning couple received 50,000 pounds. That's over $63,000. And of course, there are many quirky challenges the contestants take part in. In August, CBS announced they secured the rights to an American version of the show, but the sheer insane perfection of the original makes it hard to imagine what that might be like. Zezzy Beats has had quite the year. The actress earned her first Emmy nomination this year for Best Comedy Supporting in her breakout role in Atlanta. The show skyrocketed her into high-profile movie roles, including the Deadpool sequel and Todd Phillips' Joker. Before Netflix's Summer of Love, Noah Centineo was simply the guy who replaced Jake T. Austin on The Fosters. But thanks to his back-to-back -back rom-com releases, we're confident to say Noah beat Adam Rippon in becoming the Internet Boyfriend of the Year. Lucky for us, there's plenty of more Noah to come in 2019. He's set to co-star in the upcoming Charlie's Angels reboot and the sequel to All the Boys. From one Netflix phenomena to another, the streaming service debuted its hit revival of the show we couldn't get enough of, Queer Eye, which aired on Bravo during its original run. The Fab Five have been everywhere this year, charming at awards shows, guest starring on TV programs, lighting up our Instagram feeds, to even making over the town of Yass, Australia. When it comes to the Fab Five, we simply can't have one without the other. Thirsty for more celeb news? Make sure you subscribe to the E! News YouTube channel so you can stay informed on all the breaking updates. Come on, you know you want to be the first to know about all the latest hookups, breakups, arrests, and so much more.